this case. Um, the devil so, made me do it case. It was yeah. an infamous internationally renowned case. Yeah. Um, a trial of Arnie jo Cheyenne Johnson. Yeah. Which um, was, I believe, the first in time in the history of the court of law in the United States that yeah. um, that the, the counsel tried to claim that demonic possession was used as, as an alibi. Uh, as a reason for for committing what ultimately became uh, manslaughter. Yeah, I think Conjuring One and Conjuring Two were very insular movies. They were strategically haunted house movies, and we were kept within the confines of these houses. And what we could explore is corners of the houses, and the investigation was sort of kept to that space. And we bust out in Conjuring Three, and uh, step outside the yeah. walls of the Glatzels house. Yeah, these lovebirds met uh, at 16 years of age. And as I understand it, as Lorraine has relayed to me, that it was love at first sight. <laughs> she can't even, can't even look at me. <laughs> Very much like it was like at first sight with us, wasn't it? <laughs> and um, so, you great. know, it's really sweet to be able to glimpse that. And there are flashbacks in the film. Uh, that take you back to that, you know, that that very first moment where Cupid just like got out his arrow and bing! Ow. Got this guy. Ow. And we get to see it through these young actors who are so delicious and so charming and really <laughs> enchanting and who were really into each other. Yeah, <laughs> from it's very it's sweet. Like, had beautiful chemistry. Yeah. And, um, and you <laughs> see that very famous story that Lorraine has told over and over again about, you know, the great love of her life. I was hoping it would, I love doing it. I love working with this dude. I, I love, and, and it's even a greater family. You know, it's, it, it's, it's the crew as well that's been a yeah. part of this journey. And if, it's a family and it's nice coming back and checking in with each other every two years because we're all very, very connected. And, we're, and it's, it's a circus on set because as dark as, as what we're, the story we're telling, we, we, it's really an, an affectionate group of people and, and there's so much good fun that we have. I was wary of shots. I'm like, how is anyone, you, he, you know, James as a band leader is just like one of the most, again, one of the most exuberant, ebullient, joyful people, supercharged with passion. And that's what I expect now with a conjuring. And so when Shavs stepped up to the plate and his energy is beautiful. Yeah. He's a real cheerleader. He can yeah. get the crew going, us going in two seconds flat. Yeah. With his command, his leadership, he has this like silly joyfulness that yeah. he he revs us up yeah. with. Great. And I know even when James came very early on, he knew he was so happy because not only does Shavs have the have the the, the skill set, but really as as you hear us talk, it's so much about your your attitude and and and, and his ideas and his ideas and um, uh, and his 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 passion for this. Um, project for this to to the the, the excitement this the sort of unabashed excitement of like I'm in the conjuring universe like it's great we knew when we read this script that this was uh not only just because it was a more of a detective uh, a thriller more than necessarily a, a typical haunted house movie uh that it was going to be a different feel for a conjuring movie although still obviously terrifying um that being said, th this was um, uh, this was a how do you explain it? It was just just the script was just just blown out. It was just huge. We read it. We both called each other like it's huge. It's well, just yeah. I mean just by nature of taking them out of a haunted house and putting placing them the, into the, the real world, the scenery and, and the mountains with outside characters in, the, in the world. Yeah, you're dealing with the police. You're you're yeah. in the forest. You're, yeah, you're yeah. in a hospital and you are. Yeah, a lot of more, a lot more locations, so it's going to look different. It's a it's a much different feel in that regard, which is obviously super exciting. Within the first few minutes, I think you'll know you're in for a much different ride than than you've been on in in other Conjuring films. Um, yes, it will be scary. It wouldn't be a Conjuring film without being a very terrifying movie. Um, but again, I think the fact that we're in a different Location, the fact that it's just it's it's a it's a it's a big movie. It is a big big expansive movie with the added action and adventure and yeah, 
um, and a much different feel. So hopefully, as I, our audiences grow, they, they you know, you, 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 you and it's we true. grow yeah, with and, them. And the thing is, I don't think you have to see the, the first and the second to be dropped into this world. Yeah, no. If you're discovering it for the first time, you will, will not have needed that prior That's right. knowledge. It's like an episode of Law and Order. <laughs> Where is the buzz? Where is the buzz? You said it was mine. 